Good morning children. Today in English in class 11, we will continue the play Mother's Day. We had discussed how Mrs. Fitzgerald suggested to her friend Annie Pearson that her family should treat her better. She, uh, she is well aware of the fact that Annie Pearson is not happy because her children and her husband are selfish and self-centered and don't give her a thought at all. So she suggests that they should temporarily exchange their personalities by using a magic spell that she had learnt in the East. Annie Pearson was very apprehensive and not sure whether it would be effective but Mrs. Fitzgerald is so sure and confident that it is going to work wonders. That means that uh, definitely uh, they will be able to reform the family by means of this magic. And by this magic, what will happen is that a transformation will take place. The personality of Mrs. Fitzgerald will come into Annie Pearson's body and Annie Pearson's will move into Mrs. Fitzgerald's body. So the family will not be aware. This is what is going to remain a secret with the two ladies. So we see now, it is your only chance. This, uh, because Annie Pearson was very uncertain. She was not sure, she was not confident that the magic is going to be effective. Give me your hands and keep quiet a minute. Just don't think anyth anything at all. So, Mrs. Fitzgerald just uh, commands, uh, tells her, instructs her rather, to not to say anything at all, just to keep quiet while she casts the magic, speaks the magical words by means of which there will be an exchange of their personalities. And after that, in a few minutes, it has worked. That means that now Mrs. Pearson has the personality of Mrs. Fitzgerald while it has become the opposite. So Mrs. Pearson, Annie Pearson has the personality of Mrs. Fitzgerald and Mrs. Fitzgerald has the personality of Mrs. Pearson. Now with the exchange of the personalities, see what I mean, dear. You don't want that. That is, so she takes away the cigarette from her friend who was smoking. Now, oh, it's happened. So, that is, that uh, the realization that uh, the exchange of personalities has taken place. Now, Mrs. Pearson, who has the, the uh, you can say, the personality of Mrs. Fitzgerald, of course it's happened. She's very, she becomes very uh, bold. So, complacently means that she is uh, very confident and she is so sure and satisfied that the magic has worked. Very neat, didn't know I had it in me. That meant that although she had learned this magic, but now she is so sure that the magic has worked and it is going to help in uh, reforming the family of Annie Pearson. Mrs. Fitzgerald. But whatever shall I do, Mrs. Fitzgerald? George and the children can't see me like this. Now, Mrs. Fitzgerald has the personality of Annie Pearson. So now she is very apprehensive. She has a lot of anxiety that when the, George, her husband and children, that is Doris and Cyril, return, how are they going to respond? How are they going to react? So she gets a response that is, they aren't going to. That is the point. They will have to deal with me, only they won't know it. What she meant to say was that the family will not be aware that the personality of the two ladies has been exchanged. And they will not be told about it, they will not be informed about it. And this is what she later on also tells a friend, not to let the family know what has actually happened. Mrs. Fitzgerald still alarmed. But what if we can't change back? It would be terrible. Now, now Mrs. Fitzgerald has the personality of Annie Pearson. Now, Annie Pearson was a very docile lady. Uh, she was uh, very uncertain. She was uh, not confident enough. So, she says that it would be really terrible if they would not be able to exchange or revert to their original personalities. Here, yes, steady, Mrs. Pearson. If you had to live my life, it won't be so bad. 
you would have more fun as me than you've had as you. So, Mrs. Pearson uh, that uh, is being told that she need not worry about it at all. In this changed personality in her body, definitely she will find life to be more enjoyable than what she has enjoyed herself all along. Mrs. Fitzgerald, yes, but I don't want to be anybody else. So she is still unsure of the plan that they have in mind. Now stop worrying. It's easier changing back. I can do it anytime we want. So Mrs. Pearson, who has the personality of uh, Mrs. Fitzgerald, is assuring her friend that the, the personalities can be exchanged anytime. She could do it right away also. So there would not be any difficulty at all. So she need not unnecessarily worry about it. Well, do it now. Her friend is saying that let's get back to our original personalities. Not likely. I've got to deal with your family first. So now that the magic has worked, the, their personalities have been exchanged. So she is not going to spare the family now and she will make sure that she teaches them a lesson. That is the idea, isn't it? That meant that this is why they agreed upon this plan of this magic so that the family could realize the mistake and learn to respect her and treat her better and treat her properly. Didn't know how to begin with them, you said. Well, I'll show you. She said, in fact, you uh, a short while only, a short while back only that you mentioned that you didn't, you wanted a change because you were not happy with the family, the way the family treats her. So she's saying that just a short while that you said, now I will show you how I teach a lesson to them, but they will not come to know about it. But what am I going to do? Now, Mrs. Fitzgerald, who has a personality of Annie Pearson, now she is wondering what is she going to do now? Go into my house for a bit. So she is told by her friend to go to her house. There's nobody there. Then pop back. That means go now to my house and after some time you can return. You can come and see how we are doing. That means how the family responds. You ought to enjoy it. That means and I'm sure her friend is telling her that she will definitely enjoy herself. Better get off now before one of them comes. That means she does not want the family to know, uh, to know about this magic and the exchange of their personalities. So she says before anybody returns, she should go, uh, go to her place. Yes, I suppose that is the best. You are sure it is it will be all right? Now her friend still uncertain. She says that I hope things are going to work out well. I hope there is not going to be any problem or any obstacle. And she is assured by her friend that nothing is going to go wrong. Everything, their plan is going to work smoothly. Now off you go dear. She says everything is going to settle down. So she need not worry about it. Now we see that Mrs. Fitzgerald's, uh, she goes out and now Annie Pearson is left. Annie Pearson, uh, that is who has the personality of Mrs. Fitzgerald now. Now we see that Doris, the daughter, returns. And she is quite surprised or she is shocked to see her mother uh, a little later smoking a cigarette. So Doris says, Mom, you will have to iron my yellow silk. That is, she is asking her mother to iron her yellow silk dress. I must wear it tonight. So she says, I need to wear it tonight because that was the schedule that all the whole family followed, both the children and the husband. So she asked her mother to iron her yellow silk. What are you doing? That is, she's astounded. She is amazed. She is shocked. Why? The great surprise is because she has never seen her mother smoke a cigarette. She says, what do you think I'm doing? White washing the ceiling. So she is very sarcastic. She can see, Doris can easily see the mother sitting and smoking a cigarette. And if Doris can see, why is she asking such a silly question? But you are smoking. That's right, dear. No law against it. 
is there so she says so her daughter's questioning her mother that she is sitting she is sitting at home and she is smoking a cigarette and that is when her mother responds to it that there is no law against it so if she wishes to do that she is always uh, free to do that but i thought you didn't smoke then you thought wrong so she says that you uh, probably are not aware if i wish to smoke i can easily do it are we having tea in the kitchen have it where you like dear so her mother was telling her that she could have the tea anywhere do you mean it isn't ready her daughter is quite surprised now because normally the tea used to be always ready before they returned yours isn't that is her mother says that yours isn't that is your tea is not ready i have had all i want that meant i have had my tea might go out later and get a square meal at the clarendon so she is telling her daughter that if she wishes to uh, have tea she desires to have tea she is most welcome because this is her house as much as it is the mother's so she is most welcome to prepare and have the tea herself thank you